physical. Huh? Right here. What? Right on the ear. No matter, I'm just talking about that. Praise God. That's good God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. A miracle in your mouth. There is a miracle in the Word of God. I am Charity, you guys. This is Faith and Hope with Charity here at AllPointsTV.com. I have with me today again Evangelist Roy Castro, my grandfather. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, it's good to be back because <laughs> that's, when you travel a lot, you know, it really gets to you. Yes. You know, especially when you're over 39, you know. <laughs> right, right. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hey, I'm claiming 21 this year. Yeah. Don't know how it happens. I'm older than my son, but hey, it does. God is good. Amen. So we just want to thank you guys for joining us here today. I want to remind you before we get going, you guys, about jamforjesus.org. It's listed right above my head, jamforjesus.org. Go there. Look things up. Look at the fruits and the work that God is doing. And if he moves on you to help us in this ministry, because it's through your seed faith where you're going to get that hundred times full. And he says, I will open up the windows of heaven and pour out blessings and all of this, because we can't all always go out and do all of these things. And this is where one body comes together. Those who he's called to go out and preach the word and go and do these things, it does take means to be able to do so. And we need your help in doing that. So we always say, just pray about it. Let the Lord move on your heart. Your ties are for your church. But if he moves on you to help us as we go forth, because my grandfather travels to Texas, Texaco, Texaco, mm -hmm. Texas and Mexico. I can't even talk today. I've been rushing around trying to get here on time. But um, he goes out and he takes the word and he preaches to them and starts churches down there where they don't have church and he brings them Bibles. They don't even have Bibles or the word and, and children are eating out of dumpsters and things, you know, and we're called to be a blessing. We're blessed to be a blessing. Amen. And it's so much better to give than receive. And it brings that joy, does it not? His amen, word. Amen. It's, it, you, you release, you release uh, the love of God. See, there's no other way that you can release the love of God. Uh, and the, unless it's for, from the servants of the Lord, the church. That's right. Everybody else, you know, trying to do their own thing. And and, and you know what? I I mean, I see like uh, the Red Cross and all that. They do great work, you know. Yes. And uh, uh, especially right now with all those people coming out, out of those countries where they're running away from their own country. Mm -hmm. so, you know, we got to pray for them, you know. Amen. And in the Salvation family. Army, you know, yes, the Salvation. Bloom was a Christian and he went around oh, and yeah. they threw things at him. And, yeah. and every day he went to the street corners, he went mm -hmm. wherever, and yeah. he still preached the Word of God and God blessed his work. Mm -hmm. And he's the one that started the Salvation Army right. so that right. people oh, yeah. who aren't, you know, have all the riches of this world can get uh, things giving to them and buy clothes at a discounted price. And things that people throw away can be someone else's treasure, you know. What I'm saying the the lot of the lot of good people you know like uh uh what's your name uh, uh they come out with this uh, cancer fighting hospital like Thomas mm -hmm. what's your name Danny Thomas you oh know? yeah uh they they this guy I mean I don't know if it's a Christian to me he was you know but he started this the hospital you know mm -hmm. and when people get little children they're not you know they cannot cannot afford a the hospital doesn't charge them. Right. So there there are a lot of good people. And your donations and things, and that's where you get the yeah. Shriners and all of this that Amen. help pay for these children's hospitals. Amen. But what we want to talk to you guys today is about faith. You know, I was at church last night, um, and my grandfather was up there preaching and stuff, and, and the Lord just moved on my heart when I got home about faith, and that um, my grandfather was saying that faith is saying. We confess unto salvation, right? He says, believe in the heart, confess with thy mouth, thou shalt be saved. And even from the beginning. So he had me look up in the Bible the very first time that the word faith was used. Now I'm not saying the word believe is the first time is in Exodus, but the word faith is mentioned in the Bible. It's in Deuteronomy 32, 20. Mm -hmm. And it says, and he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end shall be, for they are a very froward, which means perverse or fraud, um, generation, children, in whom is no faith. Mm -hmm. So that alone shows us it's always been by faith. 
Yeah, and you know, on this trip, uh, what I was teaching and ministering around in Texas, New Mexico, in different places, this is what the Lord laid in my heart, and I, I never saw it before until, until the Holy Spirit quickened me. Saying is faith. Mm -hmm. Faith. Because when you go to Numbers, uh, the book of Numbers, chapter 20, verse 8 to, to 11, I mean, uh, God, God spoke to Moses, you know, and he said, speak to the rock, okay? Mm -hmm. And then uh, he went on, and because Moses was fed up with, with the people, you know, right. he got mad and got the rock and smite, smite the rock instead of using his faith. And, and I like here is, 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 see, he didn't honor God. He didn't sanctify the words that God has spoken to him. He didn't believe him, he it says further believe, on. Yeah. So he took it upon his own work. He says, speak, say, say. So saying, speaking is faith. And it sanctifies him. He's, you're Amen. right, right. You know, like the services that I have sometimes, I don't, I don't touch the people. He points them out, this and this, even people that I don't know. You know, it reveals things in their lives and sickness, problems, and they, they believe because they know I don't know them, they don't know me. But that's faith, okay? Amen. Saying is faith. Mm -hmm. And we, we don't say what God tells us to say. I mean, you see me sometimes, uh, I can be in a restaurant anywhere, and God will say, say something, say this to this person, la, la, la. I do it, I don't understand. See, the problem with the church now in these days, they try to understand God. You will never be able to understand God. You can only believe God. Mm -hmm. Once you believe God, then He quickens with the Holy Spirit your spirit so you can have a revelation of that Word. Right, get See, out of our own reasoning yeah. and let it line up with God and His Holy Spirit. Because the second time that the word faith is used in there is in Habakkuk 2.4. And he had me look this up and it says, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. And he's talking about somebody. He says, But the just shall live by faith. Mm -hmm. This is even in the Old Testament. Now, the vision was for an appointed time to Habakkuk, and he tells him that. And he was told to write the vision, make it plain on tables, on the heart or in writing, that he may run that readeth it. Amen. Amen. So what is he saying to him there? See, saying is, is sanctifying God's word. When you say, when God says, speak my word only, then you speak. It's like the centurion, you know. When we see that in the 8th chapter of Matthew, we see the centurions there uh, that came uh, to Jesus and said, Hey, uh, uh, my servant is, is bedridden, you know. Would, would, you know. Will you pray for him? Oh, yeah, I'll go. He said, No, no, you don't need to go. I'm not, uh, I, I'm not worthy for you to come under, uh, come under my roof. But speak the word only, see. And he shall be healed. And he shall Amen. be healed. And, and, and Jesus said, according to you. According to your faith, see. Amen. Faith is saying. Yes, it is. To the centurion said it, you know, because he believed what he said and, and said what he believed. And that's what faith is. You believe what you say and say what you believe, not what you think. Not what you think, amen, because as he says, he call it things that be not as though they were. And in uh, 2 Corinthians, he says, uh, as I believe, therefore we believe and we speak. It's yeah. the same thing because it's his spirit that's on the inside of us. And then the third time that the word faith appears in there is wherefore, in Matthew 6.30, it says, Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you? Oh, ye of little faith. Amen. See, see, saying comes from your spirit, man. Thinking comes from your mind. So when you saying, because you, you're saying from the inside out, mm -hmm. you know, and that's where our spirit, man, is, and this is where we have the same ability, and I dare to say this, you have the same ability to create something that's not as though they were. Yeah, whether you're speaking fear and doubt or you're speaking things, either way you're giving life to what it is you're speaking, you know. And you were saying last night about people speaking about their sickness and their fears and all of these things, that that's what they're giving life to. We have to speak faith. We have to speak the Word of God. And we have to speak things that be not as though they were trusting in Him. 
I, I blew the mind out of my doctor. My doctor's a Jew. <laughs> yes. And uh, Hilda was there, and they were hearing him, you know, coming out of his mouth. They said, I don't understand this, but it has to be a miracle. Because he saw the aneurysms that I had. And, and, and from the hospital, the report that I had two aneurysms. And you know, when those bust, it said, you're gone. Yeah, so oh yeah. <laughs> that, that, that weekend, I had to go to Holland and minister over there. And I, I know I had the symptoms, but I didn't listen to the symptoms. I said, well, I'm going to go preach the gospel. It's this my time to go, I'll go preaching, you know. Mm -hmm. So I went anyway. And uh, I went and then I stayed and I had the symptoms. And I stayed overnight and I came back. Then the, on the Tuesday, they called me and they said, uh, Mr. Castro, you don't, uh, you, we couldn't find anything. Come check yourself out in six months. Amen. And then, and then the doctor called me, who's a Jew, okay? He called me and said these words, what the heck did you do? What the hell did you do, you know? I said, well, doctor, you know what kind of business I am? I'm serving God. Amen. And he checked me over and over and just shook his head. He couldn't believe because he saw it in January. Well, he, he'll heal us and bring us out unharmed, just like uh, that. my van rolling over, you know, a week ago Wednesday. You know, when I look at the pictures and, and the people, when I, when I crawled out of this thing with not even a mark on me, I crawled on glass to even get out of the vehicle, pitch black. I don't have a scratch, I didn't have a bruise. He totally will protect us and bring us out on harm if we trust in him, if it's him who we're calling out to, to be our deliverer, because we cannot do it with our own works. Over and over in the, in the word, he says, you cannot do it. Well, like like you, you were saying, you know, you spoke and the I words. spoke the word, you Jesus, the, right away. See, as soon as the vehicle started say, going, see, I spoke. But you do, you release faith. See, you say it. Faith is when you say it. Okay, and when you say it, the word goes forth. You know, and in Jeremiah one twelve says, "I hasten my word to perform it." Mm. So when you say faith, you speak faith Amen. with the word of God. God will be there to hasten His word to make it come to pass even it has to intervene supernatural and i know he did that day because there's no i mean i totally flipped upside down the van is totaled you know and there i hung no way to get out other than the lord yeah you know and he totally directed me protected me provides you know he is such an amazing god and it's totally trusting in him because hebrews 11 1 says now Faith is the substance, which is support, the assurance yes. of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Things which are seen were not made of the things which do appear. And we can all attest to that. God's word is uh, tried, tested, and proved over and over. And even now, we're still seeing the things that he spoke about are coming to pass. Well, you know, Romans 4, 17, the God of Abraham who speaks those things are not as though they were. Yes. So we are the seed of Abraham. Yes. You know? So, you know, when I heard about that accident, I said, well, Lord, I, I we hope go. she, she we go. hurt her body. You know, I, didn't, I was worried about her body, but not her head. I don't just got a hard head. So. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it is a hard head. Amen, amen. Amen. But, you know, that's one thing. You know, a lot of people think that we don't go through things because we're out preaching the word or Ooh. because the Lord has given us a gift in a certain area. We go through just as much and sometimes even a little bit more because the enemy doesn't want us out preaching God's word. Right. He doesn't yeah. want us out showing his love. He doesn't want us out doing these things. But we trust in the Lord and he will always 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 bring you out unharmed he where, says nothing by any means shall hurt you see, we have to put ourselves in arms way where where uh uh there's no other choice but do what god tells you to do that's right and to be in the area that people don't you know don't appreciate you it doesn't matter but uh god will back to you up regardless he's mm -hmm. got your back you may not seem like it sometimes but he's there he's always there even Amen. the hebrew children when they were thrown into the fire i mean uh, and daniel yeah, yeah the third they, chapter they, they they didn't care i mean they knew god was with them and and, and he, they even said it even if we perish, that's okay we believe still believe in god yeah we have eternity so, you know as jesus is 
so shall we be. And even so are we now in this world as he was. Yeah. Amen. You know, and that's all, that's kind of hard for a lot of us to wrap around our brains because we get so caught up in everything that's going on around us in the world and in people and in the attacks and things that, that we forget who our deliverer is, who our savior is. And it's the only one. It's Jesus Christ. And he says in Hebrews eleven six, he says, but without faith. It is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is. Not only believe that he is, now listen to this because he showed me this, but, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. The reason that I say that saying is faith, because, I mean, God told Moses to say it, okay? So Amen. there was no physical strength or ability that that God wanted from Moses. All he wanted to hear is faith, to speak it, that's Amen. all. But Moses disobeyed, mm -hmm. okay? And sometimes we, we, we try to help God. God doesn't need your help. No, he doesn't. All, all he needs is your faith. <laughs> yeah. And your faith is saying what the Word of God says yeah, we are. Yeah, because we're His vessel. And right. when we use His Word out of our mouths, that's all we need. That's faith right there. And in Matthew 17, 20, faith transforms the impossible into the possible. How? Through yeah. Him. Amen. And, and in Psalms, you know, uh, or Mark eleven twenty three, 23, it says, Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but believe those things which he saith, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Yes, so about three times it's about saying. Saying is faith. Speaking is faith. Saying is faith. Not what you're seeing, not your five senses, not the fear and the doubt and all of these things that are in this atmosphere around us. Mm -hmm. Okay? We're speaking by faith. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father God, that I am healed, that I am not sick. It doesn't matter what a doctor says. It doesn't matter. We speak by faith, and that allows God to move because we're trusting in Him no matter what it looks like here because this is all temporary, is it not? Yeah, and, and, and also to me, we, we, don't, we don't want to confuse people, okay? But we're helping. Uh, there are times that you have to take medication. Fine, take it, okay? We're not saying a day, but believe and say Release your faith. Yes. Even though you may be taking the medication, but still say what you believe and believe what you say, okay? Yes. We thank God for the doctors. We thank God for medication. You know, God allowed yeah. that to happen to Well, to he's given us. some power unto yeah. men, amen, yeah, yeah. and wisdom and gifts in yeah. certain areas and, and all of these things, you know. But but when we understand it's by grace through faith, yeah. as we're told in Ephesians 2, 8, it says, For by grace are ye saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. He says, be wise serpent, harmless as dove. Otherwise, be wise as the world is wise, but be gentle. As, 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 yes, as the a, meekness of yeah, the spirit, meekness, uh, amen. I mean, we've seen Christians and I, beautiful, loving Christian brothers and sisters that I've known. And because they confuse themselves, they went home early. They thought there was a sin to take medication. That's not right. Okay? No, that's not a sin. He gave no, us no, the no. earth and the fullness thereof, and they yeah, are making yeah. it out of the and things they, God they were, gave us. They were believing God, and they did take their medication, and they passed away. No, that's, that's an error, okay? Because when God heals you, you wouldn't even have the symptoms. You wouldn't, the doctors themselves said, we don't know what's going on, but there's nothing wrong with you. Amen. See? Amen. But you can't go in your own thing and do it. No, no. And, and maybe increase your faith, as in Romans ten seventeen yeah. says, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So you have to get in the word to increase your faith. You have to renew your mind daily, as Paul tells us in Romans, daily. Gee. Because you're going to have all of these things coming at you, but... You have to increase your faith by getting in His Word and trusting in Him. I, I think one of the, the, the biggest, oh, the most powerful foundation for faith is in Romans 10, chapter, verse 8. He speaks about faith because it, what are you saying? Yes. The Word is nigh thee. 
even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith that we preach. Huh? So and if thou shalt believe in thy thou heart, shalt believe in thy heart thy mouth, thou shalt be saved. Yes. with the heart, man, believe unto righteousness, but with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Yes. So saying is faith. Yes, it is. You know. Yes, it is. Amen. And he tells us in Romans 3.28 as well, therefore we conclude. He's saying, looking at it all, looking at the Old Testament, news, everything that God has spoken. Therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Amen. Without Amen. the deeds of the law. And so many today want to use guilt and, and try to make people believe that they can do it with their own works. No. But you can't. You can do nothing outside of him. And when you try, he might say, all right, go right ahead. I'll let you see what you can do. And you might be falling and you're feeling, you know, but, but the enemy's going to try to come at your mind. Yeah. This is where he comes at your thoughts, fear, doubt, lies, you know, want you to be unhappy and in misery and all of these things. But this is where we have to, so then faith cometh by hearing. We have to hear the word of God, not only reading it, but maybe surround yourself with people who are speaking it because that's faith. Get into a good church that speaks faith, that involves the Holy Spirit and doesn't try to grieve it or limit it and surrenders to His will. Amen. Oh, you know, we as human beings, we go through a lot, okay? You are a human being, you are a spirit man, but the Bible said the greater is He that is in us than He that is yes. in the world, okay? So if we allow to, to, you know, if we learn to live from the inside out, we're going to save ourselves a lot of troubles because a lot of problems because the outside in this world is contaminated. Mm -hmm. Okay? Demonic forces and all kinds of pressure and depression. The doctors call them germs, okay? Yeah. But we call them demons, okay? They'll, they'll, they'll uh, contaminate the air, contaminate the people. What do you think they have to use masks many times when they have an epidemic? Okay, because the air gets full yeah, of all that. Yeah, it's the air. So, and who is the prince of the powers of the air? Satan. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so we got to release faith by saying, and when you say, then it goes into the atmosphere of the outside world. That's mm -hmm. temporary. But when we say the word and believe the word, we're saying, we're releasing the spirit and life of God because the Word of God is spirit and life. So that will go out there and remove a lot of this stuff. Right, right. Like, I shall and live so, and not die. Amen. And the Lord will never leave me nor forsake me. He is with me always. He is my healer. He is my deliverer. He is my joy. He is my song. He is my strength. These are the types of things. When you read the Psalms, David spoke. God's word. He spoke that all of it is because of him, that he is the one that delivered him. When his own children came at him and tried to kill him, and in all of these things, he put his trust in God and he spoke God's word. He said, even though my enemies come at me, even though my children, I will stand, I will trust in you because I know that thou are my deliverer. You are my savior. Amen. You got something from Joshua there as well? Yeah, yeah. the sixth chapter of Joshua, and it's the fourth, five, and it's in here, uh, uh, they had seven priests, seven trumpets, uh, you know, of the ram of horns. And seven days, ye shall uh, uh, compass the city. Hallelujah. Seven represents rest and completion. Completion. Okay. Mm -hmm. So all the people shall shout, uh, yes. say, what is this challenge? Faith. Faith, yes, Faith. hallelujah. They didn't, they didn't have to go with a bulldozer and knock the walls down. No. No, they shout faith, <laughs> and the walls were plastered down. Yeah. They walk over it, okay? Nothing is impossible for God, and I think that's what people seem to forget, is they try to limit God. Yeah. They try to limit God when He created the very body that we're in. We are the temple. He explains the inside of the body in the Old Testament, that we are the temple of the Holy Ghost. The skin is just a veil. It's going to go. Amen. You know, Jesus tore the veil and showed the people that the Spirit is the truth, that that's where eternity lies, on the inside. It's, it's like, like something that, that uh, for instance, in the wintertime, where you got to have fuel to warm up the place. Mm -hmm. We have to use the fuel 
uh, uh, of the Word of God, okay, mm -hmm. to keep on putting that fire inside of us, yes. that we will stay, hallelujah, burning for the things of God, not getting cold or lukewarm, but being on fire for the Lord. And, and He gave us the Holy Spirit, not mm -hmm. just to stand by us, but to live in us and work through us. So, I mean, this trip that I had was one of the most powerful, extraordinary, supernatural, because I was ministering to people I didn't know and they didn't know me, mm -hmm. and yet the Holy Spirit, without even touching them, just picking them up. It, it's a man, sir, get up, lift up your hand to the Lord. This and this and this going in your life, this sickness, this problem, circumstances, the doctor said this, this, but God says you're healed now. And boom, the power hit them. Amen. Because they didn't know me, I didn't know them. So. Well, Jesus explained it to Nicodemus, yeah. you know, about how that the wind listed where it is. So is everyone that is born in the Spirit. So you can't see it with your physical eyes because you have like these scales over it, but you could feel it. I've mm -hmm. been in a church standing there and felt all the windows closed and the doors because I looked around afterward. The Spirit just whisked past me like my skirt blew. Mm -hmm. And it kind of, you know, shook, shook me for a minute. I looked around like, what was that? But then I know it was the Spirit of the Lord present in that place because everybody was just praising and worshiping and things. And he says in 1 John 5, 4, he says that um, our faith is the victory that conquers and overcomes the world. Amen. It is Amen. all about faith and trust in Him. Faith and He wants you to have peace. He wants you to have joy. He wants you to have love. Now, he's, he tells us, it's not that you're not going to go through tribulations and trials because we all do. We're, we're in the sinful world. We're in the flesh. We are here. But we will overcome. Revelations 12, 11, we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the, the word. word. That's the saying word. again, the word Same. of our testimonies. And Same. we will not our life to death. We're going to go back unto the Father. So I just pray that whoever's watching here today, that you know you're not watching for no reason. Even if it's a couple months from now, it doesn't matter because God's word will never, ever come back void, and it is eternal. He said, I have sent my son to die for you, to pay for your past, present, and future sins, that you can't even wrap your mind around it. And this is where you have to trust in God. This is where you have to believe him, that it is past, present, and future, that there is eternity waiting for you, and he wants you there with him. His will is for all men to be saved, but he's given you a free will. He's given you a free will, and he's saying, just humble yourself. Know that I am. You can't see, but you know that you're created in all of these things, and I'm telling you to just believe. It's so simple, but yet we men try to make it so complicated. We try to add reasoning and the things of this world and all of it to it. When we see two things, you know, I tell people all the time, what are two things we can absolutely positively be sure of just here in the earth? That we were born and that we will leave this body. Right. Those are two things that are guaranteed. Those are guaranteed mm -hmm. considering in the world that you can see. So I just pray that you open your heart today because we're going to say the salvation prayer here in a minute and, and let my grandfather share with you on that as well because, because God loves you. Mm -hmm. All he's asking you to do is just humble yourself and call upon him to know that he sent Jesus to die for us. Mm -hmm. So that all we have to do is call out to, through his name. He is the atonement for us. You know, I don't care if they were on the streets yesterday, if you were drunk yesterday, if you were getting high yesterday, or maybe you did today. He can even remove that right now if you just call out to him. So I'll let my grandfather take over and I'll repeat after him and, yeah. and just humble yourself. And remember, saying is faith, okay? And remove everything. Remove Get everything out of your mind right faith. now except Amen. for you and Amen. God. And, That's uh, it. And just remember the one with the issue of blood in, in the ninth chapter of Matthew, okay? Yes. 20, verse 20. The woman kept saying, if I can only touch the hem of his garment, I know I shall, I shall be, healed. be healed. She yes. kept on saying, see? Yes. That's why you got to say it, not think it, say it. Yes. Okay? Because it's come from the inside, from your mm. heart. Just repeat this word. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, forgive me, forgive me for all of my sins, for all of my sins, past, present, 
Past, present, future. Future. Because you did it once and for all. Because you did it once and for all. We just surrender ourselves. We just surrender ourselves. Unto Thee, Lord. Unto Thee, Lord. And we ask. And we ask. To help us with the Holy Spirit. To help us with the Holy Spirit. To walk up rightly before Thee, Lord. To walk up rightly before Thee, Lord. Because we cannot do it ourselves. Because we cannot do it ourselves. We can only trust in You. We can only trust in You. We thank You, Holy Spirit. We thank You, Holy Spirit. For being with me. For being with me. And in me. And in me. And Father God, I thank you for the blood of Jesus. And Father God, I thank you for the blood of that Jesus. That washes and cleanses. That washes and cleanses. All sin. All sin. And iniquities. And iniquities. Because I do believe. Because I do believe. That Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ. Died on the cross for me. Died on the cross for went me. Went to hell for me. Went to hell for me. But he arose from the dead for but me. he arose from the dead for me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For my salvation. For my salvation. Amen. Amen, amen, and amen, you guys. It is that simple. Faith is speaking. Just as my grandfather said, we have to speak it out of our mouths. Don't let whatever's going on around you, all of the things that the enemy's trying to bring at you to cause fear, doubt, and unbelief, because that's what the end result is. Mm -hmm. When he brings in fear and doubt and terror, he takes away from your faith and he wants you to walk in unbelief. Walk in, walk in faith and trust in God. And if he touched you today, call and share with us. You can call me. My number is 810-449-2247. You can call my grandfather. He's 810-569-1021. 569-1021. Or if you need prayer, we'll pray with you. Amen. If you need to find a church, we'll help try to guide you to one. You want to come to one of the revivals or, or the functions that are going on and you don't have a way, we'll get you a way. Amen. So we do barbecues for the homeless. We do revivals all the time and give away uh, food and things that people help donate, toothbrushes, toothpaste, you know, whatever it is that the Lord gives us, you know, we give it away because we're all blessed to be a blessing. We are 100% nonprofit here. We give in as well. I work. My grandfather worked his whole life and retired. I mean, we take nothing of it with us. Amen. And just as I read in that scripture, you know, that, you know, oh, ye of little faith, God will clothe us. He feeds us. What more do we need? Amen. <laughs> It passes by so fast here. I look and I think, I'm going to age myself here. You know, pretty much 40 years has passed by. Know. You know what I'm saying? And it goes so fast. So just trust in the Lord. Give with your heart. Look us up at jamforjesus.org. There is a button there if he moves on you that you can donate to the ministry. Because Off Points TV as well is nonprofit, And we do different shows here. If he moves on you and you want to do a show, you can do that as well. So I am Charity, you guys. I thank you for joining us here today. My grandfather, Evangelist Roy Castro, I'm very thankful that the Lord has, has brought him back to Michigan and, and he's yeah. doing the shows with me and stuff. And I know that, that the Lord is moving and he's going to bless not only the show, he's also going to bless AllPointsTV.com and continue Amen. to lift because his word, it's all about his word. And if we continue to speak it, he does the work. So we just trust in him. We love every single one of you guys. And God willing, we'll be here next Friday Amen. at noon right here, live at AllPointsTV.com. I am Charity. God bless you guys and we'll see you next say week. Amen. Believe, believe what you say. Yes, believe what you say and say what you believe. Hallelujah. We'll see you guys next week. God bless.